Good morning. How are you doing this morning? How are my cousins? Today is Tuesday and we're going to get through this week. We're going to thank God for everything that he's done for us to get us this far, if that is what you believe in. Good morning, Susan. How are you? No, I am just starting. I am just coming on. I was trying to get my stuff in order and I'll probably still screw it up. Give me a second to go over and share this video out. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a morning. It is a morning for sure. Um, I just ordered my daughter's graduation stuff. I'm late in doing it. They thought they sent me the package and they did not. Um, so I'm just getting that done. And then I looked in my email and someone sent me this and I was like, are you serious right now? But things happen when you are sleeping. I'm not seeing it. Hey, Jen. Good morning. How are you? Welcome in. How you doing? How are y'all doing? As y'all come in, please hit that like button. I'm sure why I can't find the video on YouTube. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Susan from uh, Minnesota. How are y'all doing today? Can y'all hear me? Just fine, because I forgot I didn't turn up my volume. Let me turn it up before I play a couple of videos. And um, this is definitely for educational purposes. And I have to say that. And if I don't say it, I definitely will put it on my screen. Oh, hey, Jen, she's doing good. I just kicked them out of the room so that I could do this story. My daughter brought her in here and I was like, I'm trying to do a new story. Thank you, Susan. Okay. Hey, Sherry. Thank you. So have y'all heard about this, what's happening in Maryland right now? Thank you, Christy. I'm tired. I'm definitely tired. Um, hey, Jessica. Thank you. Same to you. She is awesome. And a handful. Hey, Nay. Good morning. So this was not a plant video, of course. It's breaking news. Um, it's been happening for some hours now. I'm just finding out about it. Um, but I wanted to bring it to you. Yeah, I haven't even looked at any TV, so, but I do have a couple of news stories in here that I'm going to share for those who have not seen it. That's crazy. So I'm praying for those families. I'm also like, I haven't gotten any, you know, text messages or anything because I have family in that area. So good morning, Juanita. Good morning, sunshine. Yeah. I saw a little bit of it. I didn't want to watch the full video. And I just said, I'll watch it with you guys. Wow. Yeah. I, I it, whew. something so simple as, you know, can be so tragic and now is a mass casualty situation. Let me share some of y'all comments on the screen. And um, if y'all hear my stomach growl, I hope you don't. <laughs> I hope you don't because I have not eaten yet. Um, but 
that's like one of my fears because I have to go over and the bridge that I have to go over is not as big as this bridge at all, but it is over, you know, a lot of water. And I always have that fear of something like that happening because we have a lot of boaters around here. You know, what if somebody's drinking and boating and, you know, that's just a fear. Girl, yeah, the stomach is on hurt right now, Jen. It's on hurt. Five years to build. Moments to collapse. Yeah. Yeah, my oldest daughter, she... she she has anxiety when it comes to bridges. She literally has panic attacks. And a few times this has happened to her. So now she knows when she's getting to that bridge, when they go on vacation in Charleston or whatever, that she's going to pull over and let her husband drive. Because she literally said she came to a stop on the bridge and he had to talk her all the way over the bridge and she was driving so slow and i was like i didn't realize your anxiety had gotten worse because she always had that when she was a kid but not to that extreme so that's that's a real thing and now to see this is i'm sure it's not helpful to a lot of people who do suffer from anxiety of driving over bridges or the ones that are windy and go up real high like when we went to atlanta to get well we didn't go to atlanta but we had to drive through atlanta to get to go pick the dog up i do not like those bridges at all i always feel like it's, maybe it's just the movies i see i'm like this is going this is going nowhere I don't want to go on this bridge. So. Is there another, I don't know. Is there another way? Um, are you referring to people getting, let me put Sherry's comment up. Are you referring to people like Amazon was saying that, you know, people's orders are going to be delayed? Or are you talking about the actual container ship that hit the bridge? Um, I mean, it's just crazy. Sherry, are you, you from Baltimore or what? Is there another way around that whole situation or is that bridge connecting like a one way or one way in, one way out? Let me know. Hey, Kyra. Good morning. How are you? Amazon is on the other side of the bridge. Okay. It was a ship from Singapore. Jen, what are you saying? <laughs> Just come on, spit it out, Jen. What are you saying? Do you think it was an accident? Or intentional. Either way, a lot of people may have lost their lives because it did happen in the middle of the night in the dark. So hold on, y'all. My husband's calling me. I should have told him I was going live.
I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> he called me to show me he was eating pineapple. So he's eating healthy this morning. And um, yeah, he already knew about it. But yet he didn't tell me, right? I had to find out from one of you guys, but I appreciate it. Now he wants to talk about P. Diddy and all that. I'm like, okay, we're not doing a P. Diddy story. We're going to save that for the other channels. Let's see. I know I missed some comments. No, maybe intentionally a supply chain interruption. There are many ways they they can interrupt things. So it's anything's possible. And we'll see what shakes out. It says the ship had just filled up. What do we export anymore? I don't know. Let me hold on. Let me. Let me, let me, let me stop sharing. Let's see. Okay, it's saying that actually that doesn't say anything. Um okay, top exports. Let's see. Um, really? Hmm. Let me show y'all this. Hold on. Because let me um share what I found, what we export. Yeah, here. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. That's not. Where's my my mouse? I don't know why they did that. Share. Okay. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. So it's saying that America's five leading export products by value in 2023 were crude oil, Civilian aircraft, including individually sold aircraft parts, refined petroleum oils, petroleum gases, and cars. Uh, let's get to this story y'all let's just get to this story i don't want to be here all day what did you say i'm from baltimore metro region governor moore just made 31 billion dollars in cuts for our department of transportation a couple of months ago now this happens do you think that that played into it like lack of staff or Sheriff says there's a bunch of ships no. waiting to get out and to come in. But get down. Get down. Oh boy. Get down. So Jen is right. Jen is right. 
is is going to mess with our supply chain. I mean, that's not the only ports, of course, we have in the United States. So it may be a lot of rerouting. Even so, it's going to take time for them to do that. The power on and off was weird. Hold on. Let's see. Ten foil hat. <laughs> Thanks. Someone hacked into that. Amy, anything is possible. Are we not dealing with cyber attacks with our water uh, infrastructure and other things? Did they not attack our military as far as cyber? I'm sorry, y'all. My oldest daughter having issues with people fixing her plumbing. Um, go back up. Saw the video of the British club saying it looked horrific. Yeah, we're about to get into that now because I, I didn't intend to go and do the other stuff, but I wanted to answer someone's question. Um, let's go to it now. Please hit the like button as you enter. It does help the channel. I'm still not able to share this video out because YouTube is playing around. They won't show it to me so that I can share it. So guys, if you can share it, please do. All right, where is the first one? So the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore partially collapsed early Tuesday after it was struck by a large cargo ship, according to city officials. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to show you the video. The Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland collapsed Tuesday into... Wait a minute, can y'all see it? Let me make sure it's Sharon. Okay, Sharon is Karen. All right. Where am I? Collapsed Tuesday into... How do you say that? Patapsco River, after it was struck by a large cargo ship. The bridge's collapse has prompted a huge emergency response with the Baltimore City Fire Department describing the collapse of a mass casualty incident and rescue crews searching for seven people in the river. Uh, Maryland Governor Wes Moore has declared a state of emergency. I'm going to have to add that to my title. Baltimore Mayor Brendan Scott said on Twitter uh, that he was aware of the incident and was en route to the bridge. Emergency, emergency personnel are on the scene. The 1.6 mile four lane bridge named for the author of the Star Spangled Banner was the second longest continuous stress bridge span in the United States and third in the world. Wow, didn't know that. So here is the bridge. They have 34 pictures on here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at those containers all over in here. And so this is the bridge. How did it do that though? I don't, that's insane. That is insane. Wow. And to think people were on that bridge, man. Like I get nervous driving over the bridge in when I go to Charleston. Um, I don't go often, but when I go and I pass by the port and I'm going over the bridge and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, what if? It's always a what if. Let's see some of these pictures. And then we're going to do the video. There's a ship right there. Look, that ship can't do anything. I don't know if it was bringing or leaving. So, mm, that's going to be, that's going to be out for a long time, you guys. Wow. Is that the same ship though? Oh yeah, that's the same ship. 
that is the same ship. And you got to think how many uh, of those containers might have fallen into the water as well. Mm. That is a nightmare. That is a huge ship. And when you see them in person, it's like, wow. So I guess they were having their news conference there. Uh -uh -uh. I hope I'm not clicking too fast for y'all. She must have put, she must have put Harper back in her uh, cage. Yeah, there it is. Singapore. As long as they're too dark, I'm just going fast through them. There's emergency cruise. This is a different picture to show what the bridge looked like before the incident. I mean, that's a that's a tight fit for any ship. But then you got all of those um, containers on it. How do you get under there? It's no different than a truck, you know, that's a certain height. So we're about to do the video now, y'all, because we're about to the end of these pictures. Yeah, see that this right here, that scares me to death. I have a fear of heights. And I'm claustrophobic, so just the thought. Okay, so let's get out of this and go back up to the video i have two different videos this is the first one i'm not going to play the sound with it One thirty a.m One point six mile four lanes. That's insane. That's somebody from the transportation department of transportation speaking. Hold on. Let's see what he says. I wasn't gonna play the sound, but I wanna see what he says. If it'll play. What type of traffic was there? Uh, how many workers were there? Workers, you know, they actually come to a project and other workers show up sometimes, and that's what we're investing in. Okay. Stop sharing. All right, let me go find the other one and then I can get into y'all comments. Please hit the like, subscribe and share. Mm, oh, that might be it, let me see. Yep, that's it, right there. So this was, of course, Fox 43 News. Get straight to the breaking news out of Baltimore, where the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed just hours ago after a ship crashed into it. And right now, crews are trying to rescue at least several people in the water with multiple cars that went into that water. The U.S. Coast Guard is also responding. Fox 43's Sire Williams joins us live right now near the scene. Sire, what are you seeing? 
Yeah, good morning, Gabby and Alex. So officials are calling this a mass casualty event with several people in the water right now. So where we're standing is the Maryland Transportation Authority building where this is as far as we can get. But just down this bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge is where most of the uh, research and rescue is happening. Now, we know that this event took place around 1.30 this morning and a cargo ship sailing under a Singapore flag crashed into a beam, causing it to collapse, as well as sending multiple vehicles into the Patapsco River. Uh, one of the vehicles, including a tractor trailer uh, that was traveling on this right now. Again, this happened around 1.30 a.m. Roads on I-695 have been shut down, as well as detours put in place. And um, all lanes for all directions in the incident uh, have been closed. Now, as you can see here where the media is set up, uh, there's also police personnel, fire crews, uh, everything that you can imagine to uh, uh, respond to this event, as well as uh, making sure that the, the uh, area is shut down to the public. Now, again, a lot of uh, officials are saying that this is going to be an ongoing investigation into what caused this crash. Uh, and um, a lot of information is yet to come out. We are still looking for information on the, the amount of injuries, how many people are in the water, as well as uh, if there are any survivors. Uh, that information will be coming to you on Fox 43 Morning News, uh, as well as on fox43.com. And we uh, spoke with a few people on scene, as well as the PIO. Uh, they tell me that the mayor is set to give a press conference later on today, so make sure you stay with us on that. But for now, in Baltimore, Sayara Williams, Fox 43 News. Sayara, thank you. We're gonna... So y'all saw that. I mean, is... Are you sick of having issues with your webinars? Wasting tons of time on troubleshooting with attendees. Sticking with us for our extended breaking news coverage on Fox 43. I'm Sean Strong. Of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. That bridge collapsed early this morning, around 1.50 this morning, after it was hit by a cargo ship. A massive search and rescue effort now underway. Crews are searching in the air on the water and in the water. What we know at this point was that this eight people update. have been confirmed involved in this situation. Two have been found. They're still searching for six as of this morning. And we know that they are saying at this point that they are all members of a construction crew that were on the bridge at the time. We're talking again around one o'clock this morning that they were doing pothole repair at that point. Oh, man. So they have the crew searching for those people. We also know that the boat that hit was a mayday call that was able to stop some ongoing traffic from entering either side of the bridge. But we're still unclear at this point if any passenger vehicles were on the bridge at the time. We did just hear from officials who were not able to confirm that. We did just hear from that press conference. And right now joining us is Fox 43, Syra Williams. She's been there with us all morning. Syra, what's the latest what you can tell us? Yeah, Jackie, exactly what you said. We just heard from the mayor as well as the governor on the research or the search and rescue effort that's going into uh, this collapse that happened early this morning. Now, we are still unclear about how many vehicles are actually in the river after this collapse. I'm going to give you a look at what we're looking at right now. This is the Francis Scott uh, a Key Bridge, and as you can see, that road is still blocked off. Now, they did say that the port will be closed, but trucks uh, coming out of it transporting goods will still be able to come out of it. And again, we know that uh, they are looking for, uh, there were eight individuals, six of which are a part of the construction crew and two were pulled from the water. Now we know one has serious uh, injuries while the other did not need any medical care at all. Now we also know that the crew had notified local authorities about a power outage on the ship and that it was coming in at a very rapid speed. Now they were able to allow some traffic flow uh, from going onto the bridge before the uh, cargo ship hit the bridge, but there were vehicles as well as construction crew on the bridge. Let me back that up for a minute had notified local authorities about a power outage on the ship and that it was coming in. That's suspicious. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That part is very suspicious at a very rapid speed. Now, they were able to allow some traffic flow uh, from going onto the bridge before the uh, cargo ship hit the bridge, but there were vehicles as well as construction crew on the bridge when it did collapse. Now, 
Again, they said that this has brought in a crisis response, uh, as well as victim services, water search rescues, uh, multiple resources, as well as personnel from in-state and out-of-state. We heard uh, the mayor, as well as the governor, say uh, uh, Secretary Pete Buttigieg says that he will be uh, expediting transportation funds to help rebuild uh, this bridge, as well as uh, other resources, uh, hearing from the White House and uh, what they are going to do to band together as well as help uh, the uh, Maryland come together as one. Now, again, they are still continuing the search and rescue effort uh, in this entire collapse. And uh, more details and information will soon come out. So make sure you stay with us on air and online. But for now, in Baltimore, Sayre Williams, Fox 43 News. Okay, that was the update. That was the update. Hold on, I'm trying to get out of this. And back to y'all. So y'all saw the update. I was putting some of y'all comments up there while it was going off. Lord, it's trying to take over my channel. Um. And it's, it's very sad. What? What do you want? I just needed something. Um, so I was putting some of y'all comments up there, but it's, it's very weird. They had a power outage and then that happened. Could there be, you know, foul play in, in that whole situation? Close my door, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, whole crew working on that bridge. Yeah, let it burn. I saw that. Sherry says, how are they working on repairs at one in the morning? Normally, that's when they do their repairs in the middle of the night. Cause it's less traffic. Um, they're working on the roads here all the time. I wish they would do them at night because it ties up the traffic during the day. I agree, Amy is suspicious. I don't know. I didn't follow the Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden whole situation. What was the name of the ship again? Somebody put it in the comments because I can't remember. My mind is. Oh, let me pull it up. Time is it? Is this an updated article? The ship was from um, Singapore. It's called the Dolly D A L I. Let me see. Somebody said to look up the name of that. We're able to get them out and rescue them. And Everything them wants to talk. It's no easy task. Uh, the, uh, walk, uh, Stop the madness.
What does Dolly mean? Okay. So it's called the Dolly. It's from Singapore. In this article I'm looking at, I should share it, but it's an updated article. Where is it? Let's see if I can share it and then we can get out of here. Girl, get away from my door. T, get her. She always lets her out and then disappears. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the dog. Why are you at my door barking? <laughs> She's like, I just want to see myself in the mirror. Come here. Her ear, I was looking on it. There is. Let me hold her. Go, Mama. Oh, my God, girl. Ooh, why do you just I did. walk up on me like that? Okay, I'm trying to read a whole article and you giving me a dog. You said, she was at the door. Where were you? In my room, real quick. Why are you acting like that? Oh my god! She That's only cool. was out my vision literally for one second. Yeah. I'm like, okay, girl. I don't want that kiss. Wet kiss. I took her outside and she lived in the grass, but then she's decided, oh no, I'm gonna go back inside now. This is on her head. Her head. No. Right here. It's like a map. Oh, her slot. <laughs> Got hard. Bye. Be gone. Take her. Okay, y'all. I apologize. So, this article is. Let me make sure I'm showing it. <laughs> she cannot walk with them feet. <laughs> Anyway, come on. Let's see. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? I was sharing it. Nope, she wants to be here with you. Mm -mm. Take her so I can get done, please. Girls, hold on. Let me stop sharing for a second. Thank you. I have to lift you out the room for you to be able to come. Okay. I don't want to read all of that, but it says a search and rescue mission is underway for at least six people who have been missing since the container ship crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland around 1.30 a.m. A cargo carrying vessel called the Dolly crashed into a pillar of the bridge approximately 30 minutes after setting sail on its 27-day journey to Sri Lanka. Footage of the incident showed the 16, well, the 1.6 mile long bridge collapsing into the water moments later. Local, state, and federal officials convened on Tuesday to provide updates on the mission. It is still unclear what caused the accident at the time, but Maryland Governor Wes Moore said that the ship made a mayday call just ahead of the accident. Some crew aboard the ship told authorities they lost power moments before. The call gave people on the bridge enough time to prevent cars from continuing on the bridge, saving lives. So that's, that's a blessing. However, eight individuals are believed to have fallen in the water. Two individuals were rescued and one is currently in the hospital. Let's see, Secretary of Transportation, Pete Budapest, uh, will travel to Baltimore, Maryland today to view the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. <clears throat> excuse me, collapse and receive updates. Uh, of course, they have called a state of emergency. That was said earlier in the video. Uh, uh, 
Maryland Governor Westmore said the Dolly container ship was moving towards the bridge at a very rapid speed when it crashed into the bridge. He said crews called a mayday, an emergency signal, but the vessel's speed appeared to be too fast to avoid the incident. Why were they going so fast if they were just leaving? So when the power went out, did that in did that accelerate their speed or what? However, he said the distress call did ensure more cars were stopped from crossing the bridge. Um, and they're saying that these people are heroes. They saved lives last night. The person that's in the hospital is in serious condition after being rescued from the water, is believed to have been part of the work crew who were on the bridge when it collapsed. Another person was rescued uninjured. At least six people remain unaccounted for. Officials said that they do not believe there are any people who were in vehicles who may be in the water. Mm. Maryland Governor Westmore has denied that there were any structural issues with the bridge. Asked by a reporter whether there were any structural issues that led to the collapse of the bridge, um, Mr. Moore said the bridge was fully up to code, but added that authorities will still be investigating the incident. They did confirm that there was a crew who was working on the bridge when it collapsed. Um, they were fixing potholes, which had nothing to do with the structural issues. Uh, so they're in the preliminary states right now. They're still investigating this. But however, y'all, is this is going to take um, the investigation alone is going to take a while. And it's going to take a while for them to make those repairs and build that bridge back up. So they're going to be, um, most likely you'll hear stories about them rerouting those ships. That's typically what they do, just like with what's happening in the Red Sea. They're having to reroute due to the fighting in the Red Sea. Um, just like when the Suez Canal was, uh, was blocked up by the ever given, they had to reroute those ships, but those ships had to go thousands of miles around Africa or wherever to get the supplies to where they need to be. Let me say, what is the Department of Transportation saying about it? Okay, I just read that. So that might be an old comment. Let me go down some. Maybe digital addressable lighting interface. <laughs> Only you want her. That's what this lady said when I um when she saw the dog yesterday. She's like, Oh, you found my puppy. <laughs> like, no ma'am. Yeah, it's very interesting how the ship lost power. I'm hoping that they I'm sure they're gonna look into that in their investigation, but will they tell us? You know, was it hacked? Was, you know, what happened? But y'all, thank y'all for coming in. I appreciate you being here. If you have not hit that like button, please hit that like button because it does help this channel get out to more people. So more people will know what is happening out here. Um, even though I'm late to the story, you know, I was late, but. Okay, better late than never. So the story's out there. Y'all can look it up. Um, y'all take care and I'll see y'all in my next video. So turn your notifications on if you are subscribed so that you'll get uploads from me sent to your phone, hopefully, or however you get it. Because there will be another video because I had no idea about this doing this video. So. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video.
I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tiring Bites TV Homestead.